So the distinguished senator is the Nigerians at the lower level, at the macro level. They don't understand all this language. What well, what they want to see on the on the ground is that is to see food on the table. Now food is beyond their assessment. So what do you think if such things continue? What do you think will happen if such situation continues? Uh, I've already told you about this. Uh, I told you that if if there is um, if there is a failure of the government to address the problem of poverty in the country and the hardship being incurred by people, that the country risks the possibility of a social explosion, yeah. uh, a mass of rising. And, and that is why, uh, but we cannot go back to the issue of paying subsidy again because the resource to pay subsidy is virtually not, not there. Uh, uh, because the subsidy, at a certain point, it reached to almost, what they said is almost 1.3 million, 1.3 trillion per month or, or quarterly. So, so where would that money come? Trillion naira or dollar? N naira. Okay. Yes. So, so where will the money come from? So I think it's it's good we tell ourselves let's solve these problems once and for all. The government should get the refineries back on track, and we should reduce our consumption by moving away from petrol to 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 other sources of powering our own vehicles. So I think this is very much needed. That will I'm providing a subsidized transport system that will make it easier for people. Also raising wages. These are all Measures that need to be taken, not to go back to to subsidies again. Really. So, come on, how 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 long do you think such a things you mentioned will be provided? Uh, well, uh, as the earlier is done, uh, the better to me. So, is uh, the thing that should be provided before the removal of subsidy? All such, huh? things, you, all such things you mentioned supposed to be provided before the removal of subsidy. Yes, of course. That is where the government has, has made a fundamental mistake. Um, when they knew very well, the last government of Buhari failed to... Uh, the last government... Actually, what happened was that Tinubu has not removed subsidy, but he inherited a budget where sub provision for subsidy was not made. So, uh, so, so the point is, is that having known that there is no money for subsidy before he takes over, then there could have been an opportunity for them to to uh, to make provisions for for for, for fallout of subsidy. So, so palliative measures need to have been arranged before even and even at this current phase now, with five hundred billion shared to states, it is ridiculous the way the governments are managing it. Sometimes you see them giving people some small packets of of chicken noodles and, and spaghetti. Senator Sani, we come uh, to the issue of governors and how they manage resources and palliatives. So now, yes. now, now, now the issue that, uh, are you telling Nigerians it's not Tenubu that removed the subsidy? It was Buhari? Of course, it was Buhari regime. But and it's not about removal. The point is that money was not budgeted for in 2023 budget for, for subsidy. They budgeted subsidy money only to last to May. As of June, July, August, up to the end of the year, there is no money that was budgeted for subsidy. But sir, up to the last day of Buhari, petrol was sold at the 192. Yeah, because he made he made subsidy available when he was in power for the time to which he's going to hand over power. So and uh, he, he, yes, go ahead, go ahead. Hello, go ahead, sir. Uh huh. So, so he didn't make provision for subsidy when he's going out of power. So he only stopped the, the, the budget for subsidy only stopped in May. That's a fact of the matter. So there is a situation that uh, Buhari put so many traps for the succeeding administration. Do you subscribe to that? He's going to what? Buhari set so many so many traps for the succeeding administration. Uh, of course, did, he did that. Did yeah, Buhari's, that? Government, Buhari's government is one of the most corrupt in the history of Nigeria. Most of the parasitals, uh, he just, he just has, he is just an economic 
ignoramus, one who simply doesn't have knowledge of economics and allowed his subordinates to simply mismanage the whole. Look at what happened in Central Bank. You call him economic? Uh, he is an he, 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 economically ignorant. Okay. As far as, uh, yes. So you share the Obasanjo's view? Of course he is. Okay. Now. So you're talking of CBN, so go ahead. Hello? You're talking of CBN issues, sir? Yes. The revelation coming out from the CBN investigation shows that the whole uh, government was simply a, a corrupt entity. Uh, he, he has a habit of keeping people in power, uh, in, in position of office, and even extending their tenure without them making any serious. For example, in, in, in the national population census, about 100 billion naira was wasted in a census that never took off. In, in uh, revelations coming in from all, uh, all quarters, you, you can see uh, the, that, that, that the government was simply wrong. He left a debt of almost about 77 trillion naira. Huh? Uh, and and what what, yeah. what had the money that was used for all this money so so these are the issues. So so coming down to the issue of sort of uh, state governors and the, how they manage palliatives. Before Buhari uh, left government, there is a loan from the CBA, from the World Bank of more than eighty billion dollars, if I'm right, which was accepted by the government to provide palliatives. So now you are talking of about how much? Eighty billion dollars. I mean, is it right? It, no, it is. It, it, it's uh, it's uh, eight hundred million. I think. So eight hundred million dollars, Abi. Yes. Okay. So you are talking of how governors are managing such palliatives. Yes. So can you shed more light on that? Well, from what we have seen, there are governors who have purchased uh, buses. like governor of Ademar, governor of um, Borno State, governor of. Um, of um, Lagos State, Governor of um, Sokoto State. Uh, you can see they have provided buses and the Governor of Bielsa State. They have all provided buses and transport system to alleviate the suffering. But there are yes. other governors whom we actually don't know what they, what they are doing with the money. And we have also seen some palliative being shared by Borno State, sorry, um, Niger State Governor, uh, Yobe State Governor are all sharing palliatives, uh, but um, there are many states to which nothing has been heard about the palliatives up to now. So, so I has... believe that. Mm. You believe that? Yes. Yes. My own belief is that um, they should know that that palliative is to address the problem of suffering of people, and if they don't do that, they are virtually ending. Uh, on a cake of gunpowder, the society can explode at any time. So, so you have said Karuna said have shared the palliatives too? I'm not aware of that. Okay, sir. Uh, it means governors is one of the problems, it's one of the uh, governors' decisions of, of not doing things right. It's one of the major problems that affects Nigeria as a whole. Do you subscribe to that? Well, for now, they have been given... Uh, it is too early to, to condemn them or praise them. But okay. for, so far, there are many of them that are doing a very good job. Uh, I've started the good footing. Okay, and, uh, um, mm. Go ahead. And money has been given to them to, to buy palliatives and share to people. So, so I think um, as time goes on, maybe when they are six months in power, then we can make... Uh, judicial an objective judicial. analysis. Yes, of, sir. Yes, yes, yes. yes, yes. Uh, they, they of they their go. conduct and stewardship. Yes. Sir, recently Nigerian governors were in one of the African countries. Mm. They, 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 they had a retreat there. Mm. And the the president of that country tell Nigerians that if Nigeria is in danger, it means the whole Africans were in danger. And mm. they even said that if Nigerian governor, governors at their individual states can make right decisions. Oh. Nigeria would be a better state and Africa would be part of it. What is, that on, what is your take on that? 